Welcome to the Royal Side Porch Painters up there on the wall, as you see. Uh, this is our annual exhibition, which happens every May. And I am the president, Richard Foster, and I've been president for five years now. And this is the first proper show we've had for about three years, so rather badly influenced by the COVID and everything. We did have them, but they weren't, nobody could come really. And today we've just uh, chosen all the, uh, the prizes. There's some very good prizes. There's the William Locke Prize, which is 20,000 pounds. There's the Ondaatje Prize, which is 10,000 pounds. And uh, we had lively discussions and uh, not everybody agreed. Uh, and there were a lot of contenders and very good pictures, which didn't get prizes. Behind is Anthony Williams's Giles Brandreth, two of them. Uh, he is opening the exhibition tomorrow afternoon and he will be giving the prizes. Shall we move around properly and have a good look at all the rest? And now we're in the North Gallery and there are one or two pictures I'd like to show you here. Uh, the first one is this one, which has won the William Locke Prize. Uh, which is the biggest prize we have. It's for the most painterly picture, and the judges liked it very much. And it's by Tania Revillis. Next, we come to the self-portrait picture, which is by Neka Uzogwe. And we like this particularly because the other self-portraits were just heads, whereas this has got more stuff in it. There's a funny little uh, puppet type thing down the bottom and we like this one very much and then in the next little bit of the North Gallery uh, we go through and there's the winner of the Prince of Wales's drawing prize which he has given for many years now uh, probably 20 or 30 now and this is the one which was chosen which is by Thomas Arthurton uh, we choose the, the official judges choose four prizes and then there are three prizes chosen by the donors and we don't choose them at all and we're about now to go through to possibly the highlight of the exhibition and we'll see what you all think and it's just through to the other room in the main gallery well here we are in the main gallery in front of the royal wall which we had this year as a special selection uh, because of the Queen's uh, Platinum Jubilee and she is our patron. We thought we ought to ha have a little celebration and we'll go straight away towards the Anagoni here uh, which was painted in about 1965 and it's the second one that he did. The other one's at the Fishmongers Hall which uh, they never lend and uh, this one's actually in the National Portrait Gallery and they very kindly lent it. This one is uh, the Royal Hospital, uh, two pensioners here, and done by Andrew Festing, who was our president in the 20s. The next one down is Miriam Escafet, who, this is the most recent one. They're all done by members of the society. Uh, we didn't have anybody who was not a member, uh, and actually most of them are the more recent ones, i.e. the last 40 or 50 years, not the very early ones. And uh, then the final one is this one here, which is June Mendoza, and she did four. Uh, uh, <laughs> the royal family have to have an awful lot of portraits done of themselves, and it was easier to do four at once, and she wore different clothes at different times, and I did the same thing myself when I had to do uh, not of the Queen, but somebody else, Princess Alice. I did two, one in a pink coat and one in a blue. And this one is one of four. And there you are, that's it. And come to the show and we look forward to seeing you. It opens on uh, Thursday this week, on the 5th, and um, 10 till five, and come and see it all. Okay.